Hello and welcome to Alice in the Wonderland. Today I would like to talk about my housing association, One Housing Group. So basically I'm living in this flat here in London, in East London, and uh, we stopped having hot water or heating. Like the whole house doesn't have any hot water or heating. 90 flats or even more flats, it's a lot of people, over, over 160 people. And we all don't have any hot water or any heating. And it is winter. Well, it's it's March now, but it was February when this happened. And it will apparently take another four to six weeks. The thing is, if you don't have hot water, if you have to shower cold, it's not just lukewarm when you shower, it's cold. It's literally freezing cold. You, you can't scream. I realized when you shower cold, you don't scream, you go like, ah, 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 ah. I wash my hair with cold water, it's fine, it's just my head, it's apparently good for the hair as well. Oh my god, I think my brain froze inside my head, it was so cold, it was so painful, I had to stop it in between because I'm just frozen from inside, from outside, where does it go? And they provided little heaters, which is lovely of them, but little heaters, what do I do with them? This, <laughs> I carry my heater now from the living room to the bathroom, to the bedroom. What, what is that about? And little heaters go like this. They just make the air really dry. I'm totally dried out. I need to drink a lot of wines. They were so nice. They installed showers. Not showers. They gave us a van, a shower van. But this shower van is in front of our house. In front of our main house door. You know, on the main street. And it's open from the morning to the evening for literally anyone who wants to use it could use the shower there are like three showers in there for 170 people or whatever what i mean it's great for homeless people i hope they really make use of it because they have a free shower now it's lovely i mean it's still cold because you have to go half naked on the street go into the shower and then come out there again and the best thing is, the shower van is parked in front of the bin room. <laughs> I have to do that for four to six weeks? What? In China, they built two hospitals within a week for the coronavirus crisis. And now they can't change the pipe and solve the problems within seven weeks? It is almost like a really good joke. I mean, I, I, if I was not so cold, I would actually laugh about it. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we have a cladding problem too. So our house is actually very dangerous and can inflame quite easily because we have this cladding issue. So come, come and move in with me. They just sent a letter that they will increase the service charge. I think they have something completely wrong. So I'm looking for a lawyer now who can help me sue one housing group. Or also I'm looking for people who give me their bed and the shower. I signed up on Tinder just because I'm looking for somebody who gives me a bed and a hot shower for the night. <laughs> please share this and please one housing, do something, fix the pipes, go to China, get trained there and see how they build hospitals and give us our hot water back and our heating, please. I was without hot water for six months already with one housing. Yeah, that already happened before. I think it comes if they make a BBC report about it. So it's being really addressed publicly. People living in a block of flats in East London say they've been left in inhumane and humiliating conditions. 90 flats in Stratford have been left without hot water and heating for eight days. And residents say they've been told the problem won't be fixed for up to six weeks. Hundreds of people living without heating and hot water in Stratford have been told it could be more than a month before the problem is fixed. That wasn't bad enough. Backup option for showering is now four porter cabins outside the front of the building next to the bin. They unreservedly apologise to their leaseholders for the ongoing problem and say the shower unit, as it's currently situated, meets regulations. Yeah, so if you have a shower or hot water, please get in contact with me. I would love to see it or touch it or feel it or just sleep in a warm bed one night. And if you're a lawyer and want to support, please let me know as well. I hope you have a lovely day, uh, stay warm and see you soon, bye!